Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Java vs Python. Do you know friends that Java and Python are popular programming languages known for their distinct characteristics. Java emphasizes on performance, platform independence and enterprise application, whereas Python on the other hand prioritizes simplicity, readability and versatility, thus making it widely used in fields like data analysis, web development and automation. While specific salary figures can greatly vary based on several factors, including experience level, both Python and Java developers enjoy competitive salaries. On average, Python developers can expect salaries ranging from $70,000 to $120,000 per year, whereas the Java developers can earn the salaries in the range of $80,000 to $130,000 per year. These figures are approximate and can vary significantly based on individual circumstances and the job market conditions. Now before we move on and learn more about Java vs Python, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. We are going to start our session with an overview of Java and Python. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss on syntax readability. Then we are going to dive deep into the performance execution. Moving ahead, we will also discuss about tooling and development environment. Then we will move ahead with code portability and compatibility. And at the end, we are going to discuss the conclusion, who is the winner, Java or Python. So let's start with overview of Java and Python programming languages. If I talk about Java, Java is a high level object oriented programming language that was developed by Sun Microsystems, which is now owned by Oracle and it was released in 1995. It is known for its platform independence, which means that Java programs can run on different operating systems without requiring any modifications. Java is widely used in a variety of domains, including enterprise software development, mobile app development, web applications, and large scale systems. It follows the right ones and run anywhere principle, thanks to its bytecode compilation and Java virtual machine architecture. Java syntax is derived from C and C++, thus making it familiar to programmers from those languages. It emphasizes strong typing and provides robust support for object-oriented programming, including features like classes, interfaces, and inheritance. Java has a vast ecosystem of libraries, frameworks, and tools, which contributes to its popularity and versatility. If I talk about Python, Python is a high-level interpreted programming language that was created by Guido van Rusum and released in 1991. It is known for its simplicity, readability, and versatility. Python's design philosophy emphasizes code readability and expressiveness, thus making it a great choice for beginners and experienced developers alike. It offers a clean and concise syntax with focus on code readability through the use of indentation and white space. Python supports multiple programming paradigms including procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming styles. It has large and active community that has developed numerous libraries and frameworks, thus expanding its capabilities for various domains such as web development, scientific computing, data analysis, machine learning, and automation. Python's popularity is also driven by its cross-platform compatibility and ease of integration with other languages. It is widely used by developers for its productivity versatility and extensive support for third-party packages. I hope so, you would have got a brief overview about Java and Python. Now let's move on and understand the syntax and readability of both Java and Python. Do you know friends that syntax readability are important factors when comparing programming languages like Java and Python. Here's a comparison of syntax and readability for Java and Python. I want to start with first Java. Java has more verbose syntax compared to Python. It follows a C-style syntax with semicolons to terminate the statements and the use of curly braces to define code blocks. Java requires explicit declaration of variable types which adds to the verbosity. Object-oriented programming is a fundamental aspect of Java and classes are used to encapsulate data and behavior. If I talk about Python syntax, Python syntax is designed to be simple, clean and easy to read. It uses indentation to define code blocks, thus eliminating the need for braces. Python syntax is more concise and expressive, thus allowing developers to accomplish tasks with fewer lines of code. It uses a dynamic type system 
where variables are not explicitly declared with types but are determined at runtime. If I talk about readability, Python is often praised for its readability. Its clean and uncluttered syntax along with the use of meaningful variable names makes it easy to understand and maintain the code. Python code resembles pseudocode thus making it accessible even to non-programmers. The use of white space and indentation for code blocks enforces a consistent and visually appealing structure. If I talk about Java, although it is more verbose, follows consistent conventions and has a clear syntax rule, but its explicit typing can help with the code readability, thus by making variables type explicit. However, the verbosity of Java can make code longer and harder to read, especially for beginner. In conclusion, if I had to say, Python syntax is generally considered more concise and readable compared to Java. Its simplicity and readability contribute to its popularity, especially among beginners, those who are focused on rapid prototyping or scripting tasks. However, both languages have their strengths and are widely used in different domains. So the choice between Java and Python ultimately depends on the specific requirements of the project and the developer's familiarity with the language. Now let's move on and discuss about performance and execution of both of the programming language. If I talk about performance and execution speed, it is a very important consideration when comparing programming languages like Java and Python. If I talk about Java, Java is known for its performance and it is often used in applications that require speed and efficiency. One of the reasons behind Java performance is its bytecode compilation and execution model. Java source code is compiled into a bytecode which is then executed by the Java virtual machine. The JVM can perform various optimizations during the runtime including in just-in-time compilation or JIT compilation where frequently executed bytecode is dynamically compiled to the native machine code for faster execution. This approach can significantly improve Java performance over the time. Furthermore, Java strong typing and static type checking allows the JVM to perform additional optimization. The JVM can make better use of hardware resources such as memory management and garbage collection thus resulting in efficient memory usage and reduced overhead. If I talk about Python, then as you know that Python is an interpreted language, which means that it is executed line by line without a separate compilation step. This interpretation process introduces some overhead, thus making Python generally slower than Java for certain tasks. However, the performance of Python can be improved by using various techniques. Python provides the ability to write performance critical code in lower level languages like C or C++ and then integrate it into Python code using the language bindings or modules. This allows developers to leverage this performance benefit of compiled languages when necessary. Additionally, if I talk about, Python also has a vast ecosystem of libraries and frameworks optimized for performance critical tasks. For example, libraries like NumPy and Pandas are built on efficiency of Fortran code, thus providing high performance computation and data manipulation capabilities. It's important to note that Python has a global interpreter lock or GIL which can limit its ability to take full advantage of multiple cores in certain scenarios, thus resulting in performance bottlenecks for CPU bound tasks. However, this limitation can be overcome by utilizing parallel processing techniques such as multiprocessing or utilizing external libraries specifically designed for concurrent execution. Choosing the right language if I talk about the choice between Java and Python for performance sensitive tasks depends on several factors. Java's bytecode compilation and JIT optimization make it a strong contender for application that demands high performance, especially for tasks involving extensive computation or concurrency. It is commonly used in enterprise software, Android development and big data processing. On the other hand, Python's simplicity and ease of use to make it a popular choice for rapid prototyping, scripting and application where performance is not a primary concern. Python's extensive libraries and frameworks for scientific computing, web development and data analysis make it a preferred language in those domains. In summary, if I have to say, then Java generally offers better performance due to its bytecode compilation and JIT optimization, where Python can achieve good performance by leveraging external libraries and integrating with lower level languages. Ultimately, the choice of language should be based on specific requirements and constraints of the projects at hand. Now let's discuss about tooling and development environment. 
Tooling and development environments play a crucial role in the productivity and efficiency of developers. Let's compare the development environments of Java and Python. First of all, let's talk about Java. Java has a robust ecosystem of tools and development environments. Integrated development environments like Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, and NetBeans provide comprehensive features for code editing, debugging, and project management. These IDs offer advanced code analysis, refactoring capabilities, and integration with build systems like Maven and Gradle, thus simplifying the dependency management and project configuration. Java also benefits from a mature testing framework such as JUnit or unit testing and code quality assurance. Additional profiling tools like Visual VM and Java Mission Control help optimize performance and identify the bottlenecks. If I talk about Python, then Python also has a wide range of tools and development environments to support developers. Popular IDs such as PyCharm, Visual Studio Code, and Jupyter Notebook provide code editing features, debugging supports, and project management capabilities. These IDs often have extensions and plugins tailored specifically for Python development. Package managers like pip and conda simplify the installation and management of Python libraries and dependencies. Virtual environments also allow developers to create isolated Python environments to avoid conflicts between different projects and version. Python also has a rich set of testing frameworks like PyTest and unit test for automated testing. In summary, if I had to say, both Java and Python benefit from version control systems like Git, which enable collaboration and code management across teams. They also have extensive documentation and online resources, including official language documentation, community forums, and tutorials, which assist developers in learning and troubleshooting. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding performance and execution of both Java and Python. Now let's move on and discuss about code portability and compatibility. Code portability and compatibility are important consideration when developing software that needs to run on different platforms or environments. Here is an overview. First, let's talk about Java. Java is well known for its platform independence. Once Java code is compiled into a bytecode, it can run on any system that has a compatible Java virtual machine, regardless of the underlying hardware or operating system. The right ones run anywhere principle enables Java application to be highly portable. Developers can write code on one platform and deploy it on multiple platforms without making significant notifications. If I talk about Python, Python also offers a good code portability and compatibility. Python code is interpreted at runtime, which means that as long as the Python interpreter is available on the target system, Python code can be executed without needing to be recompiled. Python interpreters are available for various operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, thus making Python applications portable across different platforms. Additionally, Python's extensive standard library and support for third-party libraries contribute to its compatibility and ease of code portability. In summary, Java and Python provide code portability and compatibility to various degrees. Java platform independence allows code to run on any system with a compatible JVM. While Python's interpretation-based execution enables code to run on different platforms as long as Python interpreter is available. The choice between Java and Python in terms of portability and compatibility depends on the specific requirements of the project and target platforms on which the code needs to run. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief overview about code portability and compatibility of Java and Python. Now let's discuss about conclusion. If I talk about Java versus Python, that both are popular programming languages with their own strengths and areas of application. Java offers strong performance, platform independence, and vast ecosystem, thus making it ideal for enterprise and performance critical applications. Python excels in simplicity, readability, and versatility, thus making it a popular choice for rapid prototyping, data analysis, and web development. The choice between the two depends upon the specific project requirements and developer preferences. Thank you for watching this video. That was all for today's session, guys. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's session on Java versus Python. Just a quick info, guys. IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.